Hi, my name is Josh Sweeney and welcome to the Company Culture Check video series. I'm here in the beautiful downtown historic Roswell today to interview MBO Marketing and learn about their amazing company culture. So Mina, thank you for having me. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah, we're looking forward to hearing about MBO Marketing's culture. Okay. So tell us a little bit about MBO Marketing and roll into what you think is unique about your culture. Sure. So MBO Marketing um, is a full service marketing and design agency. Um, we're a digital first platform, so everything we do for our clients uh, really relies on looking at um, marketing in today's digital world. So most of our clients are in real estate, multifamily, commercial, retail um, industries, and then as well as software um, and a little bit of healthcare. So um, we're located in downtown Roswell and um, uh, have been around for about 10 years. Awesome. So you mentioned you're in downtown Roswell, which yep. is a unique spot. Uh, tell us a little bit about how the location and your office plays into the culture of the business. Sure. Um, so the location of the business originally was um, decided upon because I live nearby. So that was you know the original intent. Um, but after we got in, we realized that it was actually a great place for our employees as well. And um, we're super close to downtown Canton Street, which has mm -hmm. bars and restaurants and shops. Um, we're also super close to the Chattahoochee River um, and trails and um, the mill, which has um, hiking and waterfalls. So people like to kind of explore around and go do stuff before and after work. Gotcha. So how are they able to leverage that as opposed to maybe being downtown or in Atlanta? Um, well, I think that it's a little bit different kind of atmosphere than mm -hmm. downtown Atlanta, um, but we're, we're very close to 400, so we can get downtown in 30 minutes for meetings. Um, a lot of people live in this area, so I think it's um, convenient and a desirable place to work um, because of that location. And I think people, when they're looking for jobs, you know, the commuting time is really a big, a critical decision making for them when they're looking for different places to work. Yeah. So we're also, um, I like to roll into kind of the beginning, right? Because if you get the right people on the bus with the right culture, everything else works out. Uh -huh. So tell me a little bit about your hiring process and how you make sure that people are the right culture fit during the hiring process. Okay, so during the hiring process, um, culture is pretty important for us because we're a small business um, and have a pretty small working area. Um, it's really important that people get to know each other um, early on. So when we're interviewing people, if I'm serious um, about hiring them, I bring them in to meet everybody in the team. And that's more of a conversational type of um, meeting, it's not an interview, so they can really see colleague to colleague mm -hmm. how it really feels to work to work here on a daily basis. Because I don't want any surprises if we end up hiring somebody that they show up and it's you know not what they expected. What have you seen of kind of the pros and cons of uh, them having to interview with everybody on the team? Well again, I don't really see it as an interview. I okay. see it as more of a conversational meet, meet up. So um, I'm not in the room. I just let them walk around the office and just sit down and have them talk to people. Um, I do, however, have them interview some of our you know, more leadership executive people, and that, that is part of more of the traditional interview. But once they get to um, you know, the rest of the team, it's really, they can, they, they, the conversation shifts and, and our team members talk to them about their life and their personality and what they like to do for fun and where they live and you know, try and get a feel for who they are. Awesome. Um, you know, I, I feel like part of our culture is giving our staff the, um, the ability to feel like they're part of the decision making process and part of our team um, is really important. So everybody has you know, ownership and you know, a little bit about how the companies run. Got it. Yeah, I can see how it would be valuable for everybody to build those relationships before somebody even starts. Yeah, to know as, much as, as yeah, much as you can. As much as you can. Another thing that we do um, from a culture standpoint is uh, outings on a weekly or monthly basis, and we have one or two people that kind of take the lead on that, and they will put together doodle calendars and get everybody's input of you know dates that work and come up with a theme or idea of what we want to do. For example, this next month we're going down to the river and doing a picnic happy hour with cheese and wine and um, you know whatever else people want to do, kind of like a potluck. Um, we also try and take advantage of the restaurants up the street, so we'll usually just run up there and you know grab dinner or drinks. Um, at one of the new restaurants. Okay. 
Um, and then uh, another part of the kind of the social culture that we like is um, celebrating birthdays and celebrations and holidays and things like that. Gotcha. Okay. So earlier when we were talking, uh, before we started the video, you were talking about a little bit about the brag board. Tell me what that is and how that works. Yeah. Uh, so the brag board is just, uh, it's in our kitchen and people can just grab a piece of paper or a post-it note and just put up different things that they, um, that they think about um, to compliment each other. So it's usually work-related um, or if somebody has helped another person out on a project that you know, was kind of above and beyond. Um, we also have Monday production meetings um, where everybody kind of goes around and talks about how, um, what projects they're working on during the week. And um, at that point, if somebody has something to brag about, somebody else, a team member, that comes out as well. It's called Motivational Mondays. So nice. that's been really popular. Um, and I think that, you know, that'll turn into something that, you know, can, can grow into, you know, really, helping people feel better about themselves and about, you know, the day-to-day -day work. Got it. So from a kind of from a personal level, they're getting growth through, you know, those motivational pieces. What else do you do for personal growth in the organization? So for personal growth in the organization, um, I give everybody the ability to educate themselves. So, um, so right now we have um, a required digital education platform that our director of digital marketing um, puts together. And so he's, has, he sits with everybody to ask them what they want, how they want to grow themselves professionally, and then finds digital online classes for them to participate in. Um, and then um, on a higher level with some of our designers, um, we sit down uh, each year and see what type of longer term or li longer education like classes that they can take to continue to keep them up on the trends. And that's um, paid for by the company as well. So if they want to take advantage of it, you know, we let them do that. Um, another part of the culture that I really feel people enjoy is, um, and it's a professional trait, is just the autonomy that I like to give them in mm -hmm. their job position. So um, I like to tell people that if they have a problem with something, I'm happy to help them as long as they can come to me with the potential solutions that we can work through. Otherwise, um, they're hired for their job because they do it well, and I give them the, the authority and autonomy to do it every day. So your goal is really to set that strategic direction, mm -hmm. hire people that can deliver on that, and then if they maybe get to a stopping point or a decision point or need assistance, they can come to you with three or four solutions to get your input as uh, a leader in the organization. Yes, but more, more so than that is okay. our team. So those solutions come from our teammates more than they come from me. Got it. So I think that's another part of our culture that you know people really uh, see right away um, because we have an open kind of office environment. Um, there's no closed door type of uh, you know feeling, and so if people want to um, go see somebody or have a quick brainstorm meeting, uh, I think that they feel very comfortable because of the relationship they have with each other to to say, hey, I'm having trouble with this, or I need to bounce this off you to yeah. see what, what, what I can do. So they're comfortable making it happen and there's no hierarchy in that, you know, they have to go through a chain of command or anything like that to, right. to really make it happen. Yes, so, and I don't want people yeah. to feel intimidated by, by that either because um, I, I don't feel like people really feel insecure about, if I ask that question, people are gonna think I, know, I don't know how to do it. Gotcha. You know, so questions are very open yeah. and, you know, uh, willing to, people are willing to help. One of the things you also mentioned was client transparency. Uh -huh. So it sounds like there's a lot of transparency in the organization between each other with the open door, kind of open office policy, open office vibe, I guess you would say, yes. where people can work together and go to each other for questions. How does that translate over into your customers? Um, so culture is important to our customers because one of our brand values um, is relationships. So being a marketing services company, um, we really pride ourselves on developing strong relationships with clients so we can learn their business and then over time be able to become, you know, a partner and extension of their marketing, their marketing department. So in order to do that, the, our, uh, our employees also have to feel that they are part of that client process as well. And so um, part of our culture is, is allowing each employee to have access to our clients and be participate in meetings. Um, have client communication interaction, and it just depends on the level of um, of client uh, 
in their organization. So we'll put people of equal positions at that level within the, the client organization. So, um, so they feel that they have ownership again in the project or the, the client that they're working on. Okay. Can you think of one thing that you would like to enhance about your culture or add or change? So one thing I'd like to add or enhance mm -hmm. in our culture is the ability to kind of create some processes mm -hmm. that, um, that we continually do to grow and to, um, and to further uh, strengthen that, that cultural point. And so um, in today's technical and digital age, it would be great to have something like that um, to be able to notate or to put into our policy and procedures manual when we're onboarding people is kind of a culture document gotcha. that, may, that may live on the web somewhere. Tell us a little bit about your position at MVO Marketing. Sure. So uh, I'm the digital marketing director for MVO Marketing. Um, I'm one of the newest members of the team, so I just started. Um, been uh, doing this for working in the digital marketing field for about nine to ten years. So um, this is a felt this was kind of the next step in my uh, career path. So I'm um, looking forward to doing some great work here. Awesome. So what attracted you to MBO? So uh, honestly, it was probably Mia's personality. Okay. Um, she seemed very receptive to anything that I said when we were talking. Um, she seemed genuinely interested in uh, what I had to say and um, made me really feel that I would be um, allowed to do what I thought was best without being second guessed, which was sort of a, I guess a shift from what I was used to. So um, that was probably one of the biggest things. Um, I, and I was actually kind of looking to maybe not work in the city too. So uh, actually getting away from um, Atlanta area, more up in the Roswell for it. I was kind of happy to do that too. Gotcha. So you got a good location close to home, a, yep. bit, a good bit of autonomy to yep. make those decisions. Exactly. Um, which I hear is core to the culture at NVO. Exactly. Yeah, it really is. I mean, there's no, um, there's not really like a set, like set of rules that you have to abide by. You're really kind of allowed to do your own thing as long as it's um, for the benefit of the client, which I really appreciate. Awesome. So what have you seen, uh, you know, in your first bit of time here that just really strikes you as fundamentally different from other places that you've worked? It's fun. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, like, people are really cool. We do, uh, we've had, like, happy hours and get-togethers, um, going out to lunch and just kind of hanging out and having fun, which is, it's not like, uh, you know, head down, you know, you're just kind of, like, you know, focus only on work. You actually kind of interact with people. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I've worked in some places that are smaller companies, but sometimes you don't even say hi to people. And, and that, that's not the case here. So it's, you know, it all feels, I felt very welcome as soon as I started working here. Got it. And how do you feel that the, I noticed you're in a very open office environment. So mm -hmm. how does that lead to the collaboration and interactions with your team? How does that play into the culture of, of the directorship that you have? Yeah, so the open office is, uh, it's, ni it's nice because it's, if you just wanted to go and get somebody's opinion on something, you just kind of walk down the hall and they're right there. You don't have to like go like dial somebody and you know, go through the, the extension <laughs> list and see who, who you got to get a hold of. Um, so, um, I mean, it's, you know, we got a, a studio team like right over there. So if you wanted to go talk to them while also talking to the other people on the team, and everybody's kind of all in one place. So it just makes it really nice and easy to collaborate. Awesome. Is there anything else I haven't asked you about that you'd like to share? Yeah, so um, when I was first interviewing, uh, Mia actually took the time to drive down and meet me, which is not something I've really ever had done for uh, potential employers, usually always on their time. Mm -hmm. um, so the fact that she was willing to come down and, and talk to me was something that really made me feel comfortable. Um, and after, uh, after that initial, um, that first in-person interview and then getting a chance to meet everybody, um, and then also being told uh, Mia has a very, very intense drive and hunger to grow the business. And um, that really kind of just made me feel like I made the right choice because uh, there was a couple of other people I was talking to, but uh, really that this, this company culture and the vision for the company was something that greatly attracted me and something that really made me feel confident in working here and I'm happy to be here. Emily. Tell us about your role at MVO Marketing. Um, so my role at MVO Marketing is social media manager. Um, so I really take our clients' online presence and um, kind of show their brand and who they are um, on a fun level, on an exciting level, on a level where 
their customers or residents or whoever they are, whoever they're trying to attract can really kind of speak to them as a human being because that's kind of what social has become. Um, so that's kind of, I guess, what I do. <laughs> so you're in historic or in Roswell, yes. right? Near the historic yep. center. You're in the historic center, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're historic. And are you local? I am not. So I'm originally from Savannah, Georgia, okay. um, but I live in Midtown, Atlanta. So... I take the 40 minute trek to come up here. The opposite direction yes, of traffic, yes. hopefully. Well, um, depends sometimes. on the day. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Um, as far as when you, do you remember when you came on board? How long ago that was? Yeah. So it was January of this year. Okay. Um, so I'm a newer employee, I guess. Um, I really loved, I think what I loved the most about MBO, apart from Mia, I met Mia at an, at an event, um, which kind of showed me that you know, the, the company likes to be out there. They like to be in Atlanta. They like to be, um, kind of where everything is, is happening, which is current. And that was really something that I hadn't seen at other places that I've worked at. Um, and just her vibe towards me, we just kind of clicked and connected, which is something that's unique, I think, um, and unique to this company. Cause when I came in, you know, I met with every single person that I, um, was going to eventually work with and really got to know them, got to know, Yes, what they do, you know, kind of their day-to-day -day work life, but also a little bit about them personally, which was great, um, and kind of allowed me to open up and really kind of give how I was feeling, both work-wise, what I could bring to the table work-wise, but also personally, which I think is definitely unique to MBO. What kind of impact do you think it made on you to be able to interview with so many people on the team and really build a connection before you came on board? It was everything, I think. Um, you know, I've worked at other companies where you just meet the boss or who's going to be your, your kind of superior, and that's it. So you come in kind of nervous your first day. You don't know what everybody's name is, who they are. Um, and here you really, I got to meet, I already felt like I was part of the team even before I was even hired. So I walked in, I wasn't scared, I wasn't nervous, I was ready to get in and kind of get after it and start doing really great work with a team that I knew was gonna support me because I had met them all before I even stepped foot in the door as an employee. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. So if you could think of one thing, like your favorite thing about the culture at MBO, what would it be? I think our willingness to say what we don't know how to do and that's okay to, to kind of show off your shortcomings and because you know someone on the team is going to pick up the slack. Mm -hmm. They're going to help you, but they're also going to teach you. They're not just going to say, I'll handle it. Don't worry about it. They're going to say, no, do you want to see how I'm doing this? And so I think the learning aspect um, is probably my favorite thing about MBO. Um, and with kind of growing the team as we have since I've even been here in January, um, you know, I'm learning things that I never knew before. And I think that makes you want to stay at the company you're at is when you're actively learning. Are there other ways that personal growth is a core part of the organization? Yeah, we're, well, we're implementing a new kind of learning schedule where we're actually making time every month to watch specific videos and to kind of learn within our department as well as, you know, marketing in general, um, just to kind of learn more about, about marketing, about who we are, about how to best service our clients. Um, so I think Mia and the team really wants us to grow personally and professionally, which I think is how we make our clients so happy. Got Hopefully. It. Yeah. <laughs> so I noticed you are well accessorized. I'm just going to throw no. that in there. Yes. And that you're into style and fashion yeah. like on a personal level. Mm -hmm. So how do you get into style, fashion? What do you do outside of work? Um, so I have a fashion and lifestyle blog. Um, it's called The Style Hunt. I've had it for probably four or five years now. Um, I actually started it in college. And it was one of my professors told me that if I was going to start learning, if I was going to get internships and jobs, I really needed to show my creative side. And so that's why I started the blog and I've gotten every single job because of that. Mia and I met because we were at an event that I was covering on my blog. So, and we just happened to meet and connect and here I am. Nice. Yeah. And does all that style and fashion sense and blog uh, bleed over into kind of creating the culture at MBO? I think so. I mean, I, I 
put so much effort into my personal style that I want to show up to work and it it makes me feel like I'm doing a better job. I know that sounds insane, but it makes me feel like I am doing a better job if I'm put together and I think making that outward appearance is so important and just feeling comfortable with who you are. I think is more than just being the best dressed or um, kind of going with the trend of style or whatever it is, if you feel good and you think you look good, then you will do the best work that you can. I think if you're showing up in sweatpants and, you know, slippers, you're not going to be as motivated because right. you're just too comfortable. <laughs> yeah. So other than the motivational aspect, yeah. I think I heard in there you said you were the best dressed in the office. I is mean, no, okay. I did not say that. <laughs> We'd have to take a poll. Got it. Um, but... I'm the best dressed in my own mind. Gosh. <laughs> and humble. And humble. Super humble, yes. Right. Tell me a little bit about your position in MBO marketing. So I'm a graphic designer, and that means I do anything related to graphics. So we do a lot of different types of work here. And so any projects that come through our door, I pretty much touch, be it social media, print ads, magazine ads. Lots of signage. We do lots of outdoor signage. Okay. So any sort of design, I do it. Nice. So what is your favorite part about the culture at MBO? So my favorite part about the culture at MBO is that everyone here is really hardworking and does their best, no matter the type of project or how big the project is. And I never feel like I'm pulling all the weight. because so I feel like everyone here has a role and they do that role really well. And then everyone's willing to step in to help someone if they need it. Got it. And I heard that you really like the location and are able to leverage all of the amazing things around Roswell. Is that correct? Yes. So I love the location of this company. That was a big part of why I chose to work here at MBO because I actually live about 10 minutes away. And I've been here for my entire life and I really like historic Roswell. And a big part of that is because of how nature oriented it is. There's actually a historic mill with a waterfall and there's paths and I can go and walk there during lunch break, which is really nice for me just to get out of the office and go outside for a bit. Awesome. What else have I not asked you that you want to share about the culture? Well, one of the things I do enjoy about MBO culture is that we do monthly happy hours, mm -hmm. which is really nice for everyone to get out of the office and get a chance to talk to each other and get to know each other better because this is a relatively small company. And so it's really nice to be able to really know who you're working with and it makes working as a team a lot better and more enjoyable. Gotcha. So with engaging with the team, are you part of the HQ game that I heard about? <laughs> so I, <laughs> I used to play HQ okay. more because we were really competitive about trying to win. And then we did actually finally win a total of 43 cents. <laughs> but it was still, it was the principle of finally winning HQ. Right. So what is that game? How does it work? So HQ is a trivia game and there's 10 questions. And when the more people you have in the game, the, more, the better your chances are for winning because you can each, if you don't know an answer, you can each choose different because there's, there's three choices. And so if you have a lot of people playing, you have a more likely chance of choosing the correct answer. And there's lots of questions. I don't know any of them. And we have some coworkers that are really good at trivia. And so we're like, what, what do you think we should choose? And so then we get as far as we can with how much we know, which sometimes is not very far. And then other times we get to the final question, but then we get it wrong. So you guys <laughs> play that as a team and is it like a certain time of day or yes. is it just like this running evening thing? How yes, it's work? 3 p.m. every day. So 3 p.m. every day, Yes. multiple people stop. Yes, and get some it, it is a day. much look forward to break. Nice, I love it. What else would you like to share? Is there anything? Okay, so the other thing I really like about MBO is that I like all the people here a lot. And that was a big part of when I first interviewed here. I got to meet lots of people and my coworker that I was going to be doing graphic design with, I really liked her. And just being able to like your coworkers is a big part of why I chose yeah. to work here because of course you're spending your entire day with them. And so it's a lot better to be able to really be friends and enjoy spending time with these people and do good work together. And do you think the MBO hiring process really helped kind of kick that off? Oh, for sure. Yeah, the hiring process really gave me a chance to get to know the people I was going to be able to work with because I was able to talk with multiple people, mm -hmm. both Mia, the boss, and then my coworkers, and being able to get to know like who you're really going to be able to spend your day with and who was going to be my mentor and who I would be doing projects with. Jenny, how's it going today? Great. Thank you for taking your time, taking the time out of your day. Uh, tell us a little bit about your role at MBO Marketing. I am the Director of Accounts and New Business Development. So you make it rain. I hope so. Is that the translation? Bring in the MBO gong. 
Fantastic. Gong the bell. Bell the gong. <laughs> I love it. Ring the gong. <laughs> so what have you experienced over your time at MBO that you think is unique to this business? What really stands out to me about MBO um, is that relationships matter. I can see it throughout the organization. You know, everybody takes the time to get to know each other, gets to know a new employee like myself when I was new, and also just the, takes the time to get to know our clients and what they're looking for. So I feel like relationships are really critical and important for us to do the best work. And how does that translate into you going out and developing new business? Well, it's part of our culture. So, you know, I hope that I can build relationships with people and immediately make a connection and help them understand what we do and how we can build um, a great relationship with them and to um, really deliver the best product that we can. I think when you have a great relationship with your teammates and you are collaborating every day, it really helps bring home great ideas and that deliver the best results for our clients. And when you're working through, you mentioned collaboration, what are the other ways that you've seen this environment be highly collaborative compared to maybe other environments that you've been in? Well, I think from the moment you walk in the door, it's a very open work environment. Um, it's bright, it's airy, people feel energetic, they, um, you know, they just get to know you immediately, and I think that really brings great work every day. I love it. What else haven't I asked you about that you'd like to share about the culture? You know, we have a great leader with Mia. Mia brings, I think every day she brings new ideas to MBO and that is really inspiring for everybody. And how about from an engagement perspective? I know a lot of people tend to get together after work, is that correct? Yeah, I think at MBO, I think we're already, every week we're planning on what can we do next to have some fun, to get to know each other better. Um, you know, whether we're going down to the river or going down to downtown Roswell, it's a great environment, I think, for inspiring people to, want to get out and explore and um, do it as a team, which I think is fantastic. Very good. Is there anything else you'd like to share? I think at MVO, the best thing that I have come to realize is that a small but very nimble agency is something that you can't find every day and that we're always there for each other and then we're always there for our clients to make it happen. Mm -hmm.